Well, that was funny. You saw how the guy played a cunning trick to schedule a WhatsApp message to be sent to his girlfriend exactly at 12 a.m. Is that even possible? Yes, it is possible. Today I shall be talking about a library which I used in one of my previous videos. To be very specific, it was a video on Alex application. Now the library which I'm talking about is PyWatkit. So what I did was I tried to reach out to the official owner of the library, got to know that he is also from Odisha, had a discussion with him and took his permission to talk about the library in details publicly. So let's get started and see how to schedule a WhatsApp message, play a video on YouTube, Google search, uh, try to get some information from Wikipedia and some other fun activities. Let's get started. So this is the this is the library which I was talking about by Watkit. As you can already see, this is an official uh, library under your Python. By Watkit is a Python library for sending WhatsApp message at certain time. It has several other features too. I mean, the main description is about sending WhatsApp message, but it's not the only thing which it does. It it does a lot of things. So we'll try to understand each one of them. Let's get started. So our first step, obviously, I have to install the PyWatkit library, which I have already imported, like already installed for you. You can just do a pip install by taking the just copying and just pasting it over here. OK, in case you are using Anaconda prompt, you have to do it there. So I'll just import the library. Now, the very next step is I'll talk about Let's see first what are the different methods which are actually present under your pivot kit. Cancel shutdown, check window. There are a lot of informations. Play on YouTube. Uh, this is what I was talking about. Play on YouTube, send WhatsApp message. Let's get started and see how it works. Play on YouTube. Let's try to. Let's do Rangte Basanti song. Let's see how it how it works. Well, yeah, more than seven seconds and my video will be copyright issues. We will be having copyright issues, but yeah, this is how it works on YouTube and the same piece of code I have also embedded in my application like Alex application as well. What are the different other methods? The main thing which the video is all about is sending WhatsApp message. Let's see how to send a WhatsApp message. Obviously, the first step is that you have to log into your WhatsApp like web.whatsapp. It should be logged in. I mean, it, it shouldn't be asking you to scan the code and all those things. So my WhatsApp web WhatsApp is already logged in. I'll just close it right now. And what I will do is I will call the send WhatsApp message. And what are the different arguments? Phone number. So let's pass. I'll just pass my Hong Kong number so that I don't disturb anybody. Message. Hey there. What's up? And then it's asking for time hour and time minute. And it's also asking for wait time. We'll not use wait time. I'll directly use the local time 22 32. So let's do this quickly. It's 10 31 right now. Let's do it. Okay. Call time must be greater than wait time. So let's do this way. Let's do. 
Okay. So in 49 seconds, web.whatsapp.com WhatsApp, WhatsApp will open and after 20 seconds, the message will be delivered. So let's wait for one more minute. In the meanwhile, let's go ahead and check some other features as well. So it has the send WhatsApp message. It has information which what, what it does it. It just searches this particular keyword, goes to Wikipedia page and gets the number of lines you, which you are passing here. Okay. And uh, image to ASCII art, text to handwriting. There are some fun activities as well. We'll talk about them slowly. So let's wait for a couple of seconds and it will just like the web.whatsapp will pop up. Okay, so web.whatsapp is on. I'm not doing anything. Honestly, I'm not doing anything. I'm not writing anything. This is the automated message which has already been typed. I'll not do anything. Let's wait for 20 more seconds that it is able to post exactly at 22.33 or not. So it's 22.33, you can already see this. I haven't pressed enter, it has already sent you the message. So this is the beauty of PyWatKit. You can easily schedule a message in case you want to wish birthday or wish anniversary to any of your friends and you don't want to forget it, just schedule it and you can go off and sleep, right? Have a good night as well. So this is the beauty of it. Now the next step is going to be, let's try to explore the other library, other methods as well. We'll see watch tutorial in hindi i'm pretty much not sure about exact what is exactly is this we'll see what is text to handwriting uh my oh let's just write my name let's see text to handwriting what it does is it will create a jpg like an image file it could be jpg or png whatever it is uh, written in the code and it will just convert the text to a handwriting so this is how it looks like. I mean, what are the advantages of it? If you ask me, obviously, some people like handwritten texts, like for me, at least, I cannot read a book, I cannot, I cannot do that. So what I do is I just take notes from it. And then I read it. So for me, this is a better option. If I just try it out, it will definitely help me. Right. So let's move on to the next part by what kit dot what else you can explore these things i haven't explored it i don't want to take a chance as well search so what what is this search search topic so we'll just search some topic uh let's do some random search search in tendulkar so basically what it does is search key search uh, method basically does a google search for you if i go back to here you can see this will perform a Google search about the topic which you are passing. So let me do that. See, you're getting some results, right? So one more thing is that there is also one more method called as uh, info. So what it does is it is asking for topic and lines. So the topic will be, let me just close the WhatsApp. I'm getting messages. So it's asking for topic and lines so topic what is a topic so info is nothing but it is going to the wikipedia page and it will get some results from it let's just search for dot info this will give wikipedia summary about the topic using the wikipedia api is directly calling the apis i will again do this thing such in tendulkar lines probably i want two lines not more than that so i'll just type it Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar, born this, 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 is an Indian former international cricketer who served as a captain of the Indian national team. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest batsmen in the history of cricket. Right. So this is how it is. What else? Let's try to see what else. What else do we have in the bag? Character to handwriting. Not pretty sure how it works. I will not take a chance. But yeah image to ASCII. Let's see what exactly it does. Okay, so it's basically converting an image to ASCII format so that you can 
reuse and build some models out of it. So I'll not talk about this specifically this part as of now. I hope you had a great session. I hope you understood what exactly Pivot Kit is all about. There are a lot of different options available in this particular library. Uh, the 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 creator of it has done a wonderful job. His name is Ankit Maharana. And uh, that's it. That's it for today's video, guys. If you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. In the next video, I shall be coming up with some creative contents as well. And if you don't know, I have recently started this Sunday series. So I'm going to conduct almost every Sunday. I'm, I'm going to conduct webinars on various topics, uh, be it Power BI, be it machine learning, be it some use cases, almost every Sunday. So do subscribe the channel so that you get notified on any any videos that goes live into my channel so that's it for today's video guys thank you